Hello there, in this video we will learn how to set up the booths in Airmeet. Booths are the sections of the event where the exhibitors can exhibit their products or services and generate leads. Let's understand how to set it up. First, go to your inbox and find the booth invitation. Click on set up booth on Airmeet. And now you will be led to your booth. And now in order to edit this booth, simply click on edit booth info. As you can see here, there are three types of booth layouts, that is default, custom, and posters. Default booth is the static booth where you can have banners, resources, social links, etc. The second one is the custom booth which you can customize and personalize as per your need. It can be made dynamic and you can add as many links and videos as you want for this part. And the third one is posters where you can showcase a multiple page document to your booth visitors. We will be working on the default booth for now. We have already plugged in the logo which will come out here. Now, let's add the boot card or boot banner. All the banner specifications are given here. Once you have uploaded the banner, it will show up here in such a way. You can also add video to your banner. Simply click on here and plug in the video link and the video will show up here. You can also add a short description up to 80 characters and full description of up to 2000 characters. You can also enable or disable this register interest button which will show up here. Once interest button is enabled, you can come on here and change the intro text if you want to. You can also change the button text if you want to and these two texts will be reflected out here. If you want to provide offers to your booth exhibitors, you can do so by clicking on this box. You can provide up to two booth offers. You can provide a sneak peek of your offer in this text. You can also plug in the offer details here. Now here plug in the link text and provide the URL for your offer. If you want to add another offer, click on add mode and add another offer. Coming on to the resources, you can add up to 5 resources for your booth. The resources could be anything from feedbacks to the use cases of your products and services on your website. At the top, you can add the display name for your resource and at the bottom, enter the resource link. If you want to add more resources, simply click on add more and add more resources. You can also add your social media links here. You can add your website link, LinkedIn link, Facebook link, Twitter link, and YouTube link and it will all be shown out here. The people can click on these icons and directly reach out to your social media profiles. Once done, save booth and all the changes will be reflected out here. Now let's understand how to edit the custom booths. Simply click on edit booth info and select the custom booth by clicking on here. Now you can edit these customizable booth layouts by dragging these components and dropping them out here. Here you can upload the custom background image. All the specifications are given here. Simply click on it and select the file. Once you have selected the image, simply click on upload to set it out. And now you can customize this image as you wish. You can drag this video component and drop it out here and upload a video. All the video specifications are given here as well. Once done, click on upload to upload it. Once the video is uploaded, you can drag and rearrange the video. If you want to change this video, simply click on this pencil icon or if you want to delete it, simply click on this bean icon. You can add up to 5 videos as per the settings of your image. You can also add links to this image by clicking on this link component and dragging and dropping it out here. You can write the link name and plug in the link for the same and click on add. Now this image will work as a CTA or call to action button for this link that you have put out here. You can add as many links as you want in this image and customize it as per your need. You can delete this link component by clicking on the spin icon or change it by clicking on edit icon. Once done, click on apply changes and click on save booth to save it out here. Now let's understand how to edit the third booth layout. Simply click on edit booth info and select posters. Now upload a PDF file from your computer. You can only upload one PDF for this. Once done, save booth and you will be able to see the PDF on the screen. People can use this icon to zoom in or zoom out the PDF. They can also use these arrows to go to the different pages of this PDF. They can click on this icon to download this PDF. They can click on this hamburger icon to see all the contents of the PDF or they can also watch this PDF in full screen. While this PDF is in full screen, you will also be able to see this chat icon in which you will be able to click and chat with other visitors on this booth.
Click on this exit full screen icon to exit full screen and you are good to go. Now let us understand other components of the booth that is the visitors and the leads. The visitors section will simply show the real time visitors on your booth. It will show how many people are in your booth in numbers. Coming on to the leads. This leads section is directly connected with the register button. If somebody is interested in the content or the products or services that you are selling on the booth and clicks on I'm interested and plugs in their email address and submits it and clicks on OK. Then the people who clicked on the I'm interested button will be shown out here in the leads. You can directly message that person and chat with that person about your products and services. So this will basically help you in lead generation. Earlier when we were editing booth, we also added booth offers. The booth offers are shown here once people click on I'm interested. They can click on this redeem coupon CTA and redeem their coupons. Coming down here, you will see the booth logo, booth name, show description and the booth tags and the full description. And on the left, you will see start a live broadcast. The booth exhibitors can live broadcast their products and services to get more exposure and generate leads. They can simply click on here and click on start broadcast and start broadcasting their products and services. The exhibitors can enable video and audio. They can also share the screen by clicking on this button. They can also click on the setting icons for their audio video settings. They can chat with others in this chat section. People can also use emoji in this section. When the booth exhibitor is broadcasting their products and services, this live icon will show up in the booth. The attendee who are browsing the booths can see this live icon and join the booth exhibitor on this live broadcast. The booth exhibitor can end this live broadcast by clicking on end broadcast. Also, when the booth exhibitor starts a live broadcast, a message will be sent to this feed section where people can see that your booth is live and they can click on click here to join to join the live broadcast with the exhibitor. The chat section here is enabled for the booth visitors and the exhibitors to chat with each other. Now coming on to the booth table section. The booth tables can be edited by clicking on this pencil icon. You can rename the booth. You, you can also upload the table image. You can also set the number of seats by clicking on this minus or plus icon. Minimum being the one seat and maximum being the eight seats. You will also have the seat settings here that is expanding or fixed. Whenever you have the seat settings as expanding, it means that once there are four people in this table, one seat will be automatically added to this table until the maximum capacity of this table is fulfilled. Or if you set the seat settings as fixed, then once there are four people in this table, then nobody will be able to join you. Once you are done with the settings, click on save button to save it. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.